Two teenage girls murdered together and their killer never found. Now investigators are reopening the cases. Our Grace White goes to prison and talks one-on-one -on -one with an inmate convicted in another murder who may have the missing pieces to help solve this case. Surfing and seafood, a way of life. But in the midst of sunny summer days, whispers linger of a decades old mystery. Galveston, 1971, two girls go missing. Never thought anything would have ever happened to anybody. Denise Holman lost two friends Maria Johnson and Debbie Ackerman. When are they going to find the person who did this and why haven't they found the person who did this? All three classmates at Ball High School. What really happened to Debbie and Maria? They were last seen here in this parking lot in Galveston, hitchhiking, getting in to a white van. Did she fight? Was she too scared? I mean, all these questions that go through your mind. The girls were found murdered, their bodies dumped in a bayou, in Texas City. Almost 30 years later came a chilling confession, a letter written by a convicted killer from prison, Edward Harold Bell. In it, he writes, I was brainwashed into killing Debbie Ackerman and Maria Johnson, and also says he killed five others. We paid Bell a visit in prison to ask him about the letters and a string of unsolved murders. Reading those letters, you sound like a serial killer. Well, that's what I intended it to be. Bell is behind bars for the 1978 murder of Larry Dickens. I totally regret for what happened to Larry Dean Dickens. A man police say tried to stop Bell from exposing himself to young girls in Pasadena. When did you start flashing girls? When I was about 25 years old, I became a flasher. What made you do that? That's a real good question. I think I had a very hyperactive hormone system. But is Bell a serial killer? It is even more rare for a pair of girls to be abducted and murdered. A new A&E documentary doesn't just link Bell to two murders, but 11. Their bodies were found a 15 minute drive from this spot. Retired Galveston police detective Fred Page and the Houston Chronicle's Lisa Olson have been investigating these cases for years. Every time you find a place where one of these girls was abducted or you find a remote area where they were dumped, you end up finding a public record that ties Ed Bell to that place. Remember the white van Debbie and Maria were last seen getting into? Bell says he picked them up. They let me know almost immediately that they were tired of going to bed with young high school kids. They wanted a guy like me. I told them, great. Did you kill Debbie Ackerman and Maria no, Johnson? No, I did not. But you confessed to their murders. Right, right. Why? But I did not, so that the state would kill me. I was suicidal at that time. While Bell denies killing anyone. Everybody hung out with everybody. This friend wants someone to be held accountable. If you could ask Ed Bell one question, what would you say? I could holler at him and scream at him, but it's not going to change the fact that what he did, he did. You believe he's the guy? I do. But time is ticking. She wants justice before Belle dies. All right. Or she's afraid the murders of all these girls will remain a seaside mystery. Bell says investigators recently asked him for his DNA, which he claims he freely gave. Last month, though, he was denied parole, meaning he'll be behind bars for at least five more years. As for the investigation, the Galveston County DA opened a tip line specifically for these cases. You can call 800-566-2209. Me and Lynn. All right, we can only hope someone knows something all these years later. Hoping so. Know something, say something. Absolutely. Thank you, Grace. And there is more of Grace's interview with Edward Bell. You can watch it in its entirety on our website, khou.com.